What's going on once again everyone monkey do 22 here for another tip trick or tutorial video and in this video today I'm going to share with you some troubleshooting steps that can help out if you're running into an issue with a game not launching or freezing during gameplay. If you find this video helpful make sure to click that like button and consider subscribing for more great Xbox tip trick and tutorial videos just like this. Now sometimes a game freezing or not starting up can be caused by a temporary issue that can be fixed by simply just closing and restarting the game, and other times it could be an issue with the Xbox Live services. But let's go ahead and start with the basics and then move into some more advanced troubleshooting. Now first off, if you're seeing an error like this one when you start a game, or if your game just froze randomly during gameplay, let's start by closing the game and trying to relaunch it. Start by opening up the guide by pressing the Xbox button on the controller. Then highlight the game and press the menu button on your controller, and then quit. This will put you back onto the Xbox dashboard and you'll be able to relaunch the game again. Now that's the most simple fix and it usually takes care of the problem, but if you're still seeing a freeze issue or the game just won't launch, the next step is to do a power cycle. To do that you can either press and hold the power button on the Xbox One console for about 5-10 to 10 seconds until the console shuts down. Then give it about another 15 seconds and power it back on. Or you can open up the guide and navigate to system and then select the option to restart console. Now once the console is back up and running, try to launch the game again and see if that solves the problem. If not, the next thing we need to do if the game isn't launching is to test the network connection from the console to Xbox Live. Now when you launch a game, the console communicates to Xbox Live to check for any updates and to ensure the disc is legitimate. So if there's any network errors, this could be causing the problem with the game launching. Of course, it could also be an issue with the Xbox Live services, but we'll take a look at that next. Start from the Xbox dashboard, and then open up the guide by pressing the Xbox button on the controller. Then slide over to the right to System, and then select Settings. From the Settings menu, slide down to Network, and then select Network Settings. From the Network Setting menu, slide over to the right and under Troubleshooting, select Test Network Connection. If the test is successful, the console will let you know. And as a side note, you might see an option to update your console here. If you do, go ahead and update it and then try again. If the connection was not successful though, you might have a network issue and I'll have a link in the description with some more steps that can help you resolve that problem. If the connection was successful, there may be a service alert out on the problem. To check, open up the Xbox Assist app. You can do that by opening up the guide and then going over to System and then Xbox Assist. Now the tool is very handy for helping troubleshoot problems as well as checking out the Xbox Live status page. You can also go to support.xbox.com but if there is an issue with the service that seems to be related to the problem, wait for it to clear, then power cycle the console and try the game again. What's really nice about Xbox Assist is that it's just like support.xbox.com. You can also ask to be notified when the issue clears. All you need to do is select the box and then put in your phone number. Then as soon as the issue is cleared, you'll get a notification via text message. Now if there was a service issue and waiting for it to clear and a power cycle didn't help, we're going to want to potentially see if the save data with the profile is corrupt and causing the problem. To do that, you'll want to try playing the game with another profile on the console. You can switch profiles by opening up the guide and then sliding all the way over to the left to the Profile Selection tab. Then select a second profile. If you don't have one, go through the steps to add a new profile and begin to test the game once you finish creating it. If that works for you, you're then going to want to remove your main profile that's been having the problem from the console and then re-add it. This will refresh the profile information and may clear up the problem. You can do that by going back into settings and then account. And from the account selection screen, you'll have the option to remove accounts. I'll have a link in the description with more details on how to remove and re-download your profile. But please keep in mind that re-adding your profile will require you to know your Microsoft account email address and password. If you forgot that information, please visit the link in the description, which will have another guide for finding your account information. If that doesn't work, the issue may be coming down to the game itself. If it's a disc-based game, you're going to want to eject the disc and look for any scratches or smudges. If you do see any, you'll want to use a soft microfiber cloth and gently wipe away any smudges by wiping the disc from the inside out, just like the graphic shows. 
If it's a digital game, you're going to want to verify that you're using the same account which purchased it. You can do that by checking your order history on commerce.microsoft.com. Just sign in using the same email address and password associated with your Xbox Live Gamer Tag. Once you've signed in, check the order history for the game purchase and make sure that it wasn't canceled or any other type of purchase error occurred. If you're signed into the profile which is able to play the game through the Home Console Association, also known as Home Sharing, try launching the game with the profile that owns the license and see if that works for you. Now not all games support the home sharing feature and if you're seeing an error message such as do you own this game or app, that means you may not have the license anymore. If you are able to see the purchase, then continue on to the next step. If not and you're absolutely sure that you did purchase it, contact official Xbox support next so that way they can help you by looking into your purchase history and confirm that you own the license. I'll have a link in the description to contact official Xbox support. Now if you were able to find the license, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. The same thing goes for if you only needed to clean the physical disc and it's still not working. To do this, head into My Games and Apps, and then highlight the game tile that you're having the problem with and press the menu button on the controller. This is going to open up a sub-menu and you'll have the option to select Manage Game. From this screen here, you'll be able to move, copy, and uninstall content. You're going to want to remove the game installation here, but you should be fine to leave any currently installed DLC alone for now. If reinstalling the game doesn't work, try to reinstall the DLC as well before moving on to the next step. The next step is performing a factory reset on the console, and there is two options for you. One is to keep all games and apps currently installed on the console, and the other is a full reset which will remove any and all games and apps currently installed. Basically, it will act like a console that you just purchased off the shelf brand new. And to be very clear, both options will remove any profiles downloaded on the console, and you may need to set up the Home Console Association again if you use that feature. That means you will need to re-download your profile, which will require you to re-enter your Microsoft account email address and password. Now, if you're attempting to do these steps with a console that has been banned from the Xbox Live Network, you will not be able to re-download a profile from Xbox Live. So I advise you to skip this step altogether. Now, to perform a factory reset, open up the guide and navigate to the System tab and then Settings. Under the System selection, select Console Info and then Reset Console. Now please pay attention to the warning that states, and I cannot stress this point enough, if you reset, your console will restart and erase all accounts, save games, settings, and home console associations. You can choose whether to keep or erase your installed games and apps. Now, when it says erase save games, this means anything on the local storage. Your cloud saves will be unaffected, and you'll be prompted to resync your save data from the cloud when you launch the game again. If you only play offline, I highly suggest that you connect to Xbox Live before performing this step. If you don't play while connected to Xbox Live, your data doesn't sync to the cloud. And if you do this without connecting to Xbox Live first, you run the risk of your save games not being there on the other side. Now selecting Reset and Keeps My Games and Apps will do just that. You won't have to reinstall any games or apps from the store, but if you select Reset and Remove Everything, you will need to install all of your games and apps again as if the console was brand new off the shelf. Follow the on-screen prompts to continue the process after you make your selection. And that's going to do it for this troubleshooting guide. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let me know by leaving a comment in the comments section below. I do my best to answer them as quickly as I possibly can. If this video was helpful, make sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. I'm MonkeyDo22. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.